what is it all for? Like, what is the point? What's the point of it all? You know, I maybe could call these the motorcycle chronicles because I'm literally just sitting here on, on my motorcycle. And just thinking, like, I've talked about it before, but everything that I'm going to accomplish and accumulate in the next 30 years of my life, at the end of that 30 years, I would trade it all to be back where I am now. And I was thinking most people would. Most people will live their whole life. I want you to think about it. You've worked hard for everything that you have now. You've really, you've truly worked hard for everything. It wasn't easy for a lot of you, but you worked hard and you did it. You got it. You're here. And if I told you, if you trade everything you've accomplished now to have one set of clothes and to be 20 years younger, would you take that deal? And you get to keep the knowledge you've gained. And I think about it, I, I, like I would do that deal. But even the simple fact, sometimes, you know, sometimes when you ask a question, the, it's not the answer that I'm looking for. It's the pause or the hesitation that comes in between the lines of your answer. You know, one of my favorite questions, especially to ask clients who are sure that they love what they do and they don't want to change, I just ask them, well, do you want to still be living in the city you're in in six months? The pause says it all. Because you can't know the answer to a question that you failed to ask. You know, I think a lot of times people think that they got the wrong answer. Like, I got the wrong answer. It's like, it's not that you have the wrong answer. You just haven't asked the right question. You know, the more I think about it, it's like, what, really, what is the point of it? I, I was watching a video today. Like, was, the guy was talking like, it's like, what is the point? He had a great career. Older guy in his 80s. I had a great career. I, I had a great job and love what I do. And, and he was just like, but I would trade it all. Or he didn't even say he'd trade all. He just said, he's like, it was all about the experiences that I had. He's talking about it. I was like, that's so interesting. Like the experiences. And I feel that like a lot of people get caught up in the, I will do this later. Like, like the, the later exists for sure, guaranteed. Because there's this like, uh, theory, this is like everyone thinks like, you know, I'm going to get 80 and die. I'm going to get 85 and die. Or 78 and die. And it's like, that's not true for most people. Most people are sick for a long time. They're immobile for a long time. Someone close to me that I know that I that I kind of grew up knowing has been kind of like immobile for the last like 15 years. Like they can walk around the house and do things, but to go and uh, let me see. But 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 to, to go out and like walk around and explore and do all these things, that's not the question. Leave the country out the question. Leave the state, possibly. It would take a lot of work and a lot of people. And I feel, and I just feel like, to just remind you that the experience is now. Like, why does tomorrow not have to come for us to realize that tomorrow was never promised to begin with? You know, the more I think about it, the more I'm just like, like, we, you really don't know. And I look at myself, like if I had waited to have a nice payday, especially as like an entrepreneur, if I waited to have a nice payday before I decided to go out and really do what my heart was calling me to do, which was go to Asia, was to go and explore and go see the world. Like if I really, like if I really was desiring that and I didn't do it and I waited to have the money, the first check that was like, oh my goodness, this is nice and I can do something more than just for the next few months, but this is like kind of decent came like two years in. And the thing that I never realized was, and I've thought about this a lot in my own life because I've seen it. I'm like, wow, if I would have waited to do this, I never would have done it. But then also, or no, if I would have waited to do this, I never would have had the, I would never have got this opportunity. But then I think about it is maybe the opportunity wouldn't have come if I didn't do it early because I wouldn't have been the person. I wouldn't have been in the right place at the right time. You know, it kind of goes hand in hand. 
It's like, yeah, I was in the place where a lot of things happened. I met a lot of people who helped me, especially living in Bali. Met a lot of great people passing through. And I've realized some of the greats of Bali and that I've met, they always pass through. They overstay their time, like their time when they feel like it's time to go. And then Bali really sends out its people. It's not a forever kind of place, especially when you have something to give to the world, in my opinion. And the one thing I realized was just like, wow, like if I wouldn't have done these things, I would never have been in a position for all the other great things to happen. And when I think about well, what would have held me back, it was like, well, I'm not sure how it's going to work out. But also with the same feeling of I don't know how it's going to work out, like but people mean that in the negative sense. You know, because you could say, I have no idea how this is going to work. But you could say it like in the positive. You could say it in a way where it's going to work out a thousand times better. It would be much better. Hola. <laughs> Hi. How are you? Ah, muy bien. <laughs> so you got to remember that you gotta, things are going to work out. Things are always going to work out. And I like we talked about, in the, I think it was the last video, like they can always work out way better than you imagined. Because our imagination is only so far. We can imagine the worst of the worst, which we actually really can't because things can be a lot worse. We always think of stuff happening to us. But when you start thinking about stuff happening to the people close to you and the people that you love and care about, things can get a lot worse really quickly. And you can be in a position where you can't do anything for them, no matter how much money or whatever you have. But I keep thinking, like, well, what is life about? And it has to be, for me, about experience. Why not experience everything? Like, I don't look back at being 25 years old and think like, man, if I could just be 25 years old again, that time has passed. It's not going to happen. I'm not going to be 25 again. But we'll bring, so what, what brings a smile to my face is looking back and being like, wow, when I was 25, like, like oh, man, I just signed my, a new deal to Australia. I was going back to the same team, had my place, had extra money, like, I didn't worry about anything. I first bought my first camera. And like, like it's like you're going to look back. And what you see when you look back can be determined by what you do today. Like after this video could be the moment for you. You know, some of you guys think it takes a long time. You know, I, 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 I spoke with someone a while ago. And it was like, it took me, you know, seven years to finally be able to get rid of everything to travel full time. And I was like, in my brain, I'm thinking like, no, it didn't. <laughs> it took you seven years to be the person who could let go of everything and then travel. Like the things that people talk about aren't even based on anything. A lady just told me just like 45 minutes ago, because I told them about some trips and things that I have planned. And they're like, it's just so expensive to do that. And I was like, well, it depends. Wow, I love looking at planes. See, I think when you really get down to it and you really start to Look at things from a perspective of everything depends. Like, if I tell you I hit my, I hit my wife, and like, wow, he's a horrible guy. Well, it depends. Did I hit her because I was mad, or did I hit her because she was choking and about to die, and I hit her on her back, and finally she spit out the the pencil top she was chewing on. Depends. Everything. It's very hard to hear something and just answer directly because there's always a bunch of depends that are floating, the assumptions we make. You know, our world, our, our brain, a great book to read is The Untethered Soul. Um, and if you want a summary of that and like eight other books, read a book called The Mountain Is You. Shout out to Masako for showing me that book. But really what's happening, if you ever think about the world we live in, all you're doing is just trying to make sense of everything. That's all you do all the time. And your brain doesn't know about a lot of things, so it just categorizes it in a very simple way. For example, trees are green. And that just makes us feel like we have some kind of control. I know trees are green. If the trees are orange or yellow, it means it's fall. You have some sense of control. But if you've ever spent any time in the Amazon, or you've ever watched any documentaries on tribes, there are certain tribes that have like 74 different like colors of green. Every color of green says something different. Their perspective shows something different. They make sense of the world in a different place. So you can imagine being in a world that we live in now where we're overstimulated. Nothing is even sometimes correlated anymore. You need to create the correlation in your mind. You know, I can't imagine someone who does not create content. I don't know how, like if I didn't create content, I don't know how I could live in my brain. 
Because I have all these correlations, but what is it? What is it all leading me to? Am I going to do a talk about it? Can I share it? Am I just waiting for that everyday conversation to dump a, a new thought or fact that I learned on to people? And I say that because I just think the more you know, the less you realize you don't. And especially when it comes to things around like our experience and our life and like, it's experiences. It's not even the end goal. Because it's, why do you, I, I, I saw a video the other day and, and it was like all these grown men who won the Super Bowl, what are they crying for? As a former pro athlete, I understand, I get it. But I was like, what's the actual reason that they're crying? Because they won the Super Bowl? No, I don't think so. But the journey to get there, like the journey to get there, everything you went through and to reach that outcome, that goal that you wanted, is just a beautiful thing. But if you were to talk to any of them about it, all they would explain to you was the journey. If you listen to anyone talk, all we talk about is the journey. What's the journey? The journey is the dash between the dates. On our tombstone, there's gonna be a little dash there. We born, we die. And that dash in between there is everything we've ever done. So what is that? Isn't that what matters, this experience? Like, it's crazy. <laughs> I heard this too the other day. I'm starting to consume a lot of stuff and I'm, I'm, I'm finding ways to organize in my brain. It's been very beneficial. But the only people who remember that you worked hard and stayed late in the office, the only people who really remember that deeply are your children. Or the people, people closest to you. Because it's time that they didn't get with you. You know, I think about that. They remember that. And at the end of your day, do you remember that? More importantly, is that what you want to remember? Is that how you want to remember it? Did you want to remember your 20s, 30s, and 40s, and 50s as I just worked like crazy? Is that what you want to remember? Because if it is, then that's great. But if it's not, then how do you want to remember it? You know, I think back to budget traveling, like serious budget traveling, not knowing where to sleep, just walking around all night or partying all night because I didn't have the extra cash to do it. Parts of me, I still do that in some aspects of my life today. But when I look back on it, I look back as like this, like this 26 year old with courage. And it brings a smile to my face because I think at the end of the day, if you can say to yourself honestly that I did everything I could with everything I had, with all that I knew at that time, and you can truly answer that, I believe there's this like peace that comes. There's this peace of just like, well, yeah, like what more could I have done? I didn't, like, I, there's a lot more I could do now, but what more could I have done back then? Because back then I didn't know what I know now. Of course, now I would have known like start the little side business, use the, like save, invest that into something, use the extra cash that you don't need, put that into something that's gonna make money. Like I know that now, didn't know that before. But off of what I knew, what I did looked pretty great. So it's just a reminder, like think about like power question. What is life about? Like, if work doesn't come to your mind and you're working all the time, maybe it's something to think about. If travel doesn't come to your mind and travel comes to your mind, maybe it's something to think about. Like, I love to create impact. Give you some, me, I love to create impact. And I will do what I have to do to create impact. I realize when I travel, the opportunities that I have to meet people, the opportunities, not only do I have to meet people, because with everyone I meet, I learn from, but to be in a different culture, to be in places that I look different, where people come up to me and it's easier to meet people, like that's what I live for. And I was thinking today, like as long as I have this mentality that I have now, of course it'll change at some point, but as long as I have this now, I would do it like almost no matter what. 
Like money is not the determining factor in me doing it. How much I have. There's not a certain amount that I'm going to do it. It's like, no, we're going to jump and we're going to build this thing while we're flying. Because I believe we're flying. It looks like we're falling. We don't have a parachute. We just got a bunch of tools and a book bag. Someone calls it falling, but they, I call it flying because it's all about perspective. So as I finish this Chronicles, getting off my motorcycle, hope my phone doesn't fall because it's in a weird position. As I finish this little mini Chronicle series, hope you guys can see me a little bit. I'm probably crooked, but that's okay. As I finish this little talk now, the real thing is like, if life was about experiences, are you doing things now that when you look back on, those experiences are going to just warm your soul? Are they going to warm your soul? Are they going to make you feel so alive looking back? It's easy to feel alive looking forward. It's easy to feel alive being here now. But when you look back, are you going to feel alive? Like, are you going to have moments you look back to and you really feel alive? Like, and you surrounded by, by everything that says you needed courage to do it. I think the more courage you need to do something, the more accomplished you feel when you do it and the more amazing you feel when you do it. So with that being said, that's just my thought. I hope that this video serves one of you well. And I appreciate you. And I want the best for you. And I think that... If you can change how you see things, borrow belief, borrow mine, just for a little bit, that that can change everything for you. And people always are like, well, this is how I've always done it. Well, that's why you're in the situation you're in. I literally almost had like an argument with a client about this a long time ago. I never forget that talk because she's like, well, I've always done it this way. And this, it's like, well, what am I here for then? I don't need to be here if you want to do it how you've always done it. How you've always done it has gotten you what you've always gotten. It's gotten you to this point that you're at right now. That can be good. That can be bad. Maybe it's gotten you to the point where you're so frustrated. Now you have help and help is here. Now it's time to listen to what they say. Because there's obviously something that's going on. So with that being said, as I'm getting eaten by mosquitoes, take care of yourself. Take care of what's in between your ears. It's so important. And yet we forget it so often. And as it's becoming night, it's time for me to go. Take care. By the way, Clarity call. We're having our group call. I'm still not sure on what the topic is going to be. I think we're going to be talking about um, we're going to be talking about legacy. I think this week. This is what's been really coming to my mind a lot. Really, legacy. I think if people can think of legacy, how they want to leave their mark in the world, they'll change what they do on a day to day basis for sure. So with that, with that, take care. Be blessed.